Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take this problem that you are seeing here. We have 2x minus 2y plus 1 over z is 1 over 2014. We are going to have something similar for the second and third equation, but instead of x, y, and z, we are facing with different variables. Basically, we have 2y minus 2z plus 1 over x is 1 over 2014, and finally we have 2z minus 2x plus 1 over y is 1 over 2014. We are going to find positive values of x, y, and z here. Let's see how we are going to solve this. To solve this problem, I'm going to do the normal thing. Basically, I'm going to add them together to see what I get. If you add these equations, you are going to end up with 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z equals to 3 over 2014. Because when you add them together, these two are going to cancel out each other and these two are going to cancel out each other and finally we have this and this and then you can add the other side together. Now if we want to find another equation, I'm going to do a trick here. So first, let's multiply the first equation by z. We know that z is not zero, so we basically can do that here. If we multiply the first equation by z, we will end up with 2xz minus 2yz plus 1 is z over 2014. Now let's do that for the second equation, but this time we are going to multiply that by x. We will end up with 2xy minus 2zx plus 1 is x over 2014. And finally we will have 2zy minus 2xy plus 1 is y over 2014 since I multiplied the third equation by y. Now what we see here is basically we can remove this and this if we add these equations together we can remove this and these and finally we will remove these two terms and we will end up with 3 is x plus y plus z over 2014. Now let's take a moment and see what we have here. I'm going to simplify it a little bit so it's better to understand the situation. We have x plus y plus z equals to 3 times 2014. Now let's see what I got. I got this and then I have this and I'm going to continue based on these two that I have. To do that, let's see what happens if I write something like this. So basically, I have two terms that I know their values and I'm going to multiply those together. So for the first one, I know that it's 3 times 2014 and for the second one, I know that it's basically from what I have 3 over 2014. So you can say that we can remove these and then write it as 9. So from here, there is something interesting. So now let's do this multiplication a little bit to understand what's going on. If I multiply x by the second term, it's going to be 1 plus x over y plus x over z. Let's do that for the second one. I will have y over x plus 1 plus y over z. And finally, for the last one, I have z over x plus z over y, and finally plus 1. This is going to be 9. 
So the first thing that I can notice is I can remove these and simplify it as six. The second thing that I'm going to notice is I will have x over y plus y over x plus x over z plus z over x and then plus y over z plus z over y this is basically six so just to confirm what i did i have this x over y and i have this y over x so i rearrange this and then i have this x over z and then i have this z over x and just rearrange it and everything is the same we know that we have the equation that you see here note that if we just focus on the first one i have an equation or expression that is something like this i have a plus one over a because i have x over y and inverse of it now remember from the am gm inequality we know that a plus 1 over a is going to take the minimum value of 2 so if i say what's the minimum of a plus 1 over a you can say that it's 2 and the reason is i have a plus 1 over a over 2 which is going to be the arithmetic mean is going to be equal to the geometric mean which is basically a times 1 over a and then it's radical which is 1 so the minimum value that we can get here is basically 2 so from here i have x over y plus y over x is 2 similarly this value needs to be 2 and finally this value needs to be 2 because they add if we add them together basically it's going to be 6 and each one needs to take its minimum value now I have something like this. I have x over y plus y over x is 2. Similar what to what we said about the whole thing here, you can apply the AMG inequality and it means that x needs to be equal to y. Similarly, y needs to be x and z needs to be y. So here, we need to fix it and say that basically x equals to y, x equals to z, and z equals to y. Now, when you have something which says x, y, and z are equal, you can go back to what we had before and conclude that x, y, and z needs to be 2014. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel, and I hope to see you in the next video.